It started out as a pretty normal afternoon. Jenny and I just goofing around, you know, kid stuff. But then, something happened, and we'd never be able to look at our neighborhood the same way again. I got it! Whoa! Jenny, you've got to see this! What's that? I don't know, but it's cool. Let's go. I want to get it up to our clubhouse where it'll be safe. Can I see it? Hold on, I don't want to drop it. I'll bet we can see all kinds of stuff with this thing. Planets, cool birds. A weird pirate, dude. Oi, you up there. That's my spyglass. You don't even know how to use it, honestly. What do you mean? How many ways are there to look through spyglass? Well, I'm glad you asked. May I come aboard? Thank you. <laughs> Take a look over there. Tell me what you see. It looks like my neighbor's yard, except they've got a lot of colored markings in the grass. That's good. Now, look again. Only this time, turn the spyglass like so. Whoa! Michael, you've got to see this! What is all that? Those are our underground utilities. Things we need and use every day like water, electricity, or even cable TV. They go to your houses through underground pipes and cables. But what's with all the flags and paint? Well, someone's obviously planning to do some digging, so they've done the right thing and called 811 and had their yard marked so they know where it would be safe to dig. It's just smart digging. But why would they want to dig up their yard? Well, people dig for lots of different reasons. Planting trees, putting in swimming pools, burying treasure. <coughs> <coughs> but a lot of people don't realize how many important things are already buried underground, right beneath them. The flags and marks tell us what is buried where. Take a look at this. You see those red flags there? That means there's a power line down there, and you don't want to cut that with a shovel by accident. I'll tell you that much. Yowza! And you see this yellow line? That's a natural gas line. And the blue one, that's our water, and so on. That's why we should never dig near these flags. They all mean something important or dangerous is buried there. These sections, away from the underground utilities, that is where we are allowed to dig. But what happens if you don't follow the markings? Well... But how do you know where all the safe areas are? Who puts down the marks? Well, that's the most magical part. All you do is call 811 a few days before you want to dig, and an expert will come and mark where it is and isn't safe to dig. All you do is make the call, know how to read and respect the marks once the utilities have been located accurately and dig carefully. Hey, look! Mr. Casey is putting in a new mailbox. Let me see. Oh no, Mr. Casey is really close to some of those underground lines, and he doesn't even know it! Mr. Casey! Mr. Casey, wait! Mr. Casey, you really need to call 811 before you dig. You don't know what's underground. Tell him, Mr. Hey, where'd he go? Where'd who go? I only dig for treasure where I know it's safe, because some things need to stay buried, like our underground utilities. Whether you're in the city or the country, on a desert island or in the forest, it doesn't matter. Always call 811 before you dig and know what's underground. Respect the marks and dig carefully. I guess I won't be needing this anymore. I'll be sure to wait until my yard is marked for underground utilities. 
All right, thanks for sending somebody out. Thanks for letting me know, kids. I guess I'll tackle this another day when I know what's underground. How did you kids know about 811 anyway? A weird pirate dude told us. A pirate dude? <laughs> okay then, kids. Go on now. Don't let me ruin your fun. See ya. See ya. Thanks again. Huh. I wonder where he went. Maybe we should check the clubhouse. Whoa! Michael! Remember, call 811 before you dig and know what's below. It was that day our clubhouse got its very first piece of treasure. But more importantly, we learned that there's a whole lot more underground than we ever imagined. And we have to do our part to keep our neighborhood safe. That means calling 811. Thank you for calling 811. How can I help you? Aye, lass. I'd like to do some digging. <laughs>